officers. So let's take you through. There is the defending champion from the United States, Jason Richardson, also Olympic silver medalist, of course, from last year. Talked about his hair in the last couple of days, says that uh, he's constantly being asked to cut it off, and he says, no, I'm going to keep it. It gives me my power and my majesty. Well, we shall see. Lane six from France, Thomas Martineau Lagarde, the older brother of Pascal, who uh, sadly has picked up an injury. There he is, the reigning Olympic champion. We saw him in the build-up to this programme. On great form, a really personable character, the world record holder. Just a lingering question mark among some people as to whether that hamstring that he tweaked in Shanghai is fully recovered and fully back to form. We shall find out in the next few minutes. There is Ryan Brathwaite, the former world champion, of course, from Berlin four years ago from Barbados, and completing the lineup in lane nine from Hungary, the four times Hungarian champion, Balash Baji. So there we are, the lineup for the first semi final. The first three through by Wright and the two fastest losers. Parchment, Thomas, Shabanov from Russia, Richardson, the defending champion, Martin Olagard, Merritt, Brathwaite, and Baji. Lane five, Richardson, Martin Olagard, six, Merritt. The lanes to look out for. But as we've seen countless times over the years, and even in this championship this week in Moscow, when you place hurdles between the start line and the finish line, anything can happen. Only three to go through by right. Richardson, Martin Olagard, Merritt, the Olympic champion, Brathwaite and Baji. The first three through to the final. Away they go this time, a terrible start from Aries Merritt, it has to be said, and Jason Richardson is flying out of the blocks, we've lost one already, I think it's Shabanov, here comes Jason Richardson, Aries Merritt really struggling, coming back now, Jason Richardson's going to get there, Thomas Martino Lagarde as well in second place, and Aries Merritt, after a dreadful start, you have to say, caught napping, maybe still back in the taxi, in some ways you might say, eventually came through, and I think he got third, but there, Parchment, who he said had had a poor heat, Tim, well, he hadn't had a poor race here. He's just been very unlucky. Well, what a strange, strange race. Goodness me, Shabanov reduced to tears. Richardson, the winner, the defending champion, remember, goes through to the final with a win, but in only 13.34, in virtually still air, minus 0.3 the win. Martino Lagarde marches on his way to the final. A bit of a dark course, I think, that Frenchman. Watch him. Aries Merritt, you're right, dreadful start. And it took him a long time to really get into his rhythm and come back at them. Uh, he, I thought he was getting his season together. Look at that start, third to left. He's left absolutely sleeping in the blocks. What was he thinking of? Richardson's gone. Shabanov, it would appear to have been that right hamstring. But um, Richardson winning pretty comfortably eventually. He was. Let's just keep an eye on, there it is, there's the Jamaican gone, Parchment, two from the end, just, uh, I think, got his heel on the hurdle and came crashing down. Well, there we go. Bad luck for Parchment and for Shabanov. Well, if that's a taster, Tim, for the uh, evening ahead, we're in for a bit of a treat, because it was all action there, everything was happening in that race. But the important thing is that Jason Richardson, the defending champion, safely through, 13.34, Martin Olagard, as you say, bit of a dark horse, the Frenchman, in second place. And Aries Merritt eventually getting his act together and qualifying in third place. Eventful semi-final that we saw a few minutes ago. Aries Merritt with that shocking start. Jason Richardson capitalising. Martin Olagard, we'd already lost to Shabanov. And look on the top of your screen there, Parchman, here we go. Hit the top of the hurdle and then from there on his race was over. Richardson keeping out of trouble. Aries Merritt uh, eventually woke up. And in the middle of the two of them, Martino Lagarde, a safe qualification, but a, a very, very modest time. Let's hear from Jason Richardson on his thoughts after the race. Jason Richardson, yeah. very commanding. Simply after his run in the heats last night, he looked impressive. 13.05 for David Oliver. He is, after all, the fourth fastest man in history. And uh, going by the form of Aries Merritt, 
in that first semi-final. Oh, there are only two, remember. And David Oliver must be uh, full of confidence. He's the fastest in the world this year. Wayne Z. Davis, the second of Trinidad and Tobago. World Youth Champion back in 2007. He goes in lane five. Then Ryan Wilson won the US title in Des Moines a couple of months back at his eighth attempt, the man from Los Angeles. His uh, build-up to this uh, championship, though, includes third in Lausanne, sixth in Paris, fourth in London. Could have been better. Sergei Shabenkov, wow, listen to that roar for the Russian national record holder, the European champion from last year, and he wintered well too since then, taking the European indoor title last March. Will Sharman, Great Britain, the Commonwealth silver medalist in 2010, makes a speciality of coming out and finding his form at the World Championships, fourth in 2009. That was a big shock, then he was hardly heard of until the World Championships two years ago when he was fifth, and here he is in the semi in 2013. Andrew Riley completes the lineup for the Jamaican in hate in lane nine. Went out in his heat at the Olympic Games last year, but he's Jamaican champion this year. He's a lot better. The athletes we didn't see, Artur Noga of Poland in two, Gregory Sadok of uh, the Netherlands in lane three. So Oliver just needs to negotiate this semi-final adequately. There's nothing Nothing particularly special, doesn't need to run under 13 seconds. Indeed, nobody in the world has run under 13 seconds yet this year. But he comes here in fine form, not only winning his heat last night, but winning the London Diamond League three weeks back and uh, was the fastest in qualifying by some margin, frankly, last night with that 13.05. So here we go, second semi-final, the men's 110-metre hurdles. Noga of Poland in two, Sedok of the Netherlands three, David Oliver of the USA in four. Watch him, you can hardly miss him in that huge red vest. Davis of Trinidad 5, Wilson USA 6, Shubenko 7, Sharman of Britain 8, Riley 9. Well, not a great start from David Oliver. Davis got away from him, but here comes Oliver now. He's in the lead, trying to chase hard into the dock in the orange on the far side. But here comes Oliver, and he's pulling away now. Shubenkov having a great run, and the Russian's coming through, and he's taken that one. And Oliver might even have been third, because Ryan Wilson came through. Now, whether or not in the, the replay we'll see Oliver just easing back over the last couple of flights, I don't know. But uh, Shabenkov came through to win that one. The winning time, 13-18. Contrasting fortunes to his teammate Chabanov, who uh, crashed down and out in that first semi-final. But uh, here it is again. Watch third to left there. Shabenkov had a fabulous second half in the blue. Absolutely superb for such a young man. So, so steady, wasn't he, Shabenkov? And there is Oliver coming back. And does Oliver just get there? Oliver and... Uh, Ryan Wilson, well the time's coming through, 13.17 confirmed for Shubenkov, a hugely popular victory there as you can imagine in the stadium, there's the head-on shot, Oliver just squeezes into second place, one hundredth of a second behind, 13.18 for the big man who eventually got it right, a bit like Aries Merritt, and waiting for confirmation of third place, these the automatic qualifiers of course, Barry waiting for the uh, the call and as we see again the uh, slow one with that second semi-final Shabenkov look at that superb technique well there's the result and can you believe Will Sharman has made another world championship final that is fabulous for the Britain Shabenkov and David Oliver hardly separable Ryan Wilson likewise just three one hundred a second covering the first three there Riley goes through and so does Will Sharman 1334 going through as a fast well that is an excellent result for Will Sharman and you said it before commentary uh, Tim that he is capable of performing on the big stage and once again he has and that will be great news for the British team Christina Hurugu of course coming later every day in Moscow all the stories from the World Athletics Championships and 